Hi everybody. Today we're going to be looking at how to answer an exam question on biology and plants. And we're going to be looking at target grades. How are you going to get to grade 5? How are you going to get up to grade 7? How might you even get up to grade 9? Let's take a look. So you open your exam booklet and you see this question. Plants can be infected by fungi, viruses and insects. Aphids are small insects that carry pathogens. Look at the diagram, here's an aphid. Oh, figure six shows an aphid feeding from a plant stem. Good, that seems fair. So the aphid has punctured the plant stem with its mouthpiece and it's sucking out the juices, the cell sap. Maybe from the xylem, maybe from the phloem, we're not sure. But we're gonna find out, the question's gonna help us. So, aphids, plants, that's what our question's about. So before, before we see how different students tackle that question, let's have a look at the question itself. Plants infected with aphids may show signs of magnesium deficiency. Ah, you've heard of magnesium, yeah, group two, metal, interesting. Magnesium deficiency symptoms include, what do they include? Yellow leaves, stunted growth. Yellow and stunted, okay. Explain how a deficiency in magnesium could cause these symptoms, okay. How many marks do I have to get? I have to get five marks. So I have to know quite a lot about magnesium deficiency. Or do I? Can I talk around the subject a bit? And we're going to find out, yes, we can. So let's start off by looking at the examiner's report for this question. The examiners have said, students seem to know the basics of mineral deficiencies, but they weren't keen to extrapolate using these ideas which means they weren't keen to expand on it, they weren't keen to go backwards or forwards from these ideas and fill in the gaps where you could have got marks. So let's see what this student said. They said, magnesium ions are needed to make chlorophyll in the leaves of the plant so the plant can photosynthesize. Okay, really good start. So you have to know at this point entirely that magnesium is needed to make chlorophyll. It's an essential part of chlorophyll. No magnesium, you got none of this. Okay, so that's their first mark. So uh, we can give that one mark out of five. Let's see what they said next. Without a sufficient amount of magnesium, the plant can't make enough chlorophyll and the leaves will lose their green pigment and become yellow. That's called chlorosis, by the way. We'll come back to that later. Um, yes, so that's a really good point. It's on the mark scheme, they become yellow. But um, it, they then go on to say it causes stunted growth in the plant. Well, how? They haven't explained how, so they can't access that next mark. So I'm afraid we've got a big uh-uh there. And they get two marks out of five. Now, uh, depending on what the um, exam board had for breakfast, that's going to be maybe, if they're lucky, uh, a level five. Okay, that's how you get a level five. I think by doing a little bit better, they've explained the yellow leaves, but they haven't explained the stunted growth. So let's move on to someone else, see how they do. Okay, let's see how this next student did. Um, the examiner's written all over this one. They've given it a three marks out of five. Let's see what they did do and didn't do. Okay, they got the first bit. Magnesium ions are used to make chlorophyll. So that's the first mark. Good. Um, if there's no chlorophyll, the chemical reactions of photosynthesis cannot take place. And this means food for the plant cannot be given to the cells for respiration. It's not really about that. It doesn't come up on the mark scheme. If only they'd written glucose instead of food, that would have helped as well. But we really need to talk about why the plant will be stunted. That means short, like this one. Why couldn't it grow? Because it didn't have enough protein for growth. So um, where does that protein come from? It comes from the glucose. It builds that protein out of the glucose. So um, that bit didn't really help, but here we go. It says uh, producing proteins, amino acids, therefore the tree results in a stunted growth. So that is your mark there. Um, they've also said that if chlorophyll is not present, the pigmentation um, won't be seen. So it becomes yellow. So that's why we've got those yellow leaves. So that's our third mark. 
So we've got the idea of no magnesium makes no chlorophyll, makes no yellow leaves, produces less proteins, fewer proteins, sorry. So the plant becomes stunted. That's our three marks out of five, and that's a level seven answer. Right, for this next one, we're going to take a level eight answer and find out how to turn it into a nine. This student got four out of five, probably going to be a level eight, but let's just put the icing on the cake, see how we can get them up a bit. Right, the leaves are yellow as the plant needs magnesium for photosynthesis and chlorophyll. If it's deficient in magnesium, it will lack chlorophyll. So they got that right. They're telling us that without magnesium, the plant can't make chlorophyll. So that's our first mark. It will make the leaves look less green, but yellow instead. That's our second mark, what we call chlorosis. If you can use that word, chlorosis, that means disease of the green, lack of the green, your plant goes yellow. That would be great if we can use that word. Okay, the plant will not be able to photosynthesize as well. Perfect. The plant will not produce enough glucose and this lack of glucose means it can't use it to grow. Therefore, it will have a stunted growth. So there's our four marks. They've talked about stunting. What, what have they missed? What have they missed? They've missed the key thing that glucose is converted to protein. Or glucose is needed to make protein. Remember, plant, plants have to build everything out of glucose. Absolutely everything in them. Oils, fats, lipids proteins, plants of carbohydrate, bark, wood, leaves, anything else, they've got to build out of glucose because that's the only product of photosynthesis that they use. So um, that's what they miss. So all we need to add to get that fifth mark is plus glucose is converted to protein which is needed for growth. And that will be your five marks, that will be your level nine answer. Magical, magical level nine.